Like I said, I was going to stop whenever. Is this thing on? <laughs> exactly why I'm not about to stop recording. <laughs> Yeah. So Sunny when boy. I'm ready, Sunny boy, Jeez. hold your horn. You're just the camera person. I'm, I'm the director. I'm the director. <laughs> I have to do some job. <laughs> your job is to start purchasing some of this stuff. Yeah, here, here. I'm, here. I'm gonna go and look. I know <laughs> and what look. I wanna, and I didn't know like. what I wanted to buy before. Now I know what I wanna buy. Okay. <laughs> Quit your yabbering and say, action. Welcome, welcome, everybody. <laughs> you know, you're already drinking it. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> you're so fired. Fired. All right. Let's go. You're all fired. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. How are you today? I'm pretty good. I'm excited. I'm excited, too, but it's freaking butt cold out there. <laughs> freaking butt cold. It is cold. For North Texas, it's cold. But this is going to warm me up because I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite um, bourbons, whiskey, scotches. It's actually a scotch. Very difficult to even get your hands on this. So this is the OMG Hard to Find. So um, tell us. So this is called Arctic Velvet. It's a... Scottish Lowlands whiskey made with 3,000, 2,000 year old um, spring water from Greenland. It's um, sold almost exclusively in Greenland. They ship the water to... They ship the water. It's uh, sold exclusively in Greenland and a couple places in China, like at some high-end bars in Shanghai and Hong Kong. And then some uh, bars in, I think, Germany, Hamburg and stuff. You can purchase this online if you live in certain areas in Europe, very certain areas. In fact, the story behind this is my wife and I were in Greenland and we stumbled upon this and we had to buy it and it got destroyed coming back. I was in tears just about because it just got shattered in the luggage and this is not cheap, not cheap at all. Um, yeah, it was heart wrenching. So, um, I had to do some finagling. They will not ship it to the U S at all because of laws. Uh, it's 40% and that's at the threshold of shipping to the U S. Mm -hmm. So I have a daughter that lives in Italy. She had to work with the company to try to get Italy on their send list and then some other things with finances. But in the end, they sent her uh, some bottles. They sent her the, the whiskey, the Scotch whiskey. They sent her vodka, and they sent her cognac, which I have yet to open because oh, I love cognac, and I just don't want to waste it. <laughs> this is so hard to find, and it is so good. If you look at it, it's a nice, dark color. Right away, this is off the scale. This online right now for purchase, which you can't get in the U.S. by the way, so don't even try, is at uh, 50 euros. So at current exchange oh, rates, it's close to 70. With the um, cost of getting it sent to Italy and back to the U.S. and the three bottles that we bought, we spent almost 300 U.S. dollars. This is an OMG and super hard to find. In fact, you and I both watch a, uh, a video series on bourbon from Austin, and I would love for those guys to come up here one day and try this, but I'm only down to that much, so I don't know. <laughs> I'd, I'd give it's mine, all mine, all through. mine. So yeah, Arctic Velvet, if you're ever traveling in Europe or sitting in a high-end bar in Afri Africa, Afri Shanghai, Shanghai or um, Hong Kong, you should try this. And the bottle is amazing. I think this is just a really cool bottle. 
Now, if you're in Greenland, you can find it at any liquor store or gas station. It's still expensive. But let's try this. We've been talking about this for a long time, and you have not tried this. No, I, I have not you. tried this. And... All right, so already it's at a one barrel. And I can already tell you that I'm using my bonus barrel. <laughs> All right, so let's look at aroma. It's... The aroma is... i got to adjust something here so I can... I... I think that it smells really good. It doesn't even. You it's, can it's, you can smell the alcohol in it. It's but it's. I don't, this is very pleasant. I think. So you're you're putting it at a five. Yeah. It's, yeah. You could um. I'm not really good at at detecting the different ingredients yet. But I can smell the char. I can smell. There's not a lot of peat or anything no. in there. But I, I can tell that it's I, a scotch versus a bourbon. Yeah. This is something I could probably just yeah. wear around my head with it just <laughs> dangling right there. This is something that doesn't make you speak Scottish. Hey, what are you talking All about? Right. So we're going to give a five on the aroma. Are people much wiser than us? To do this thing to tell you all the different notes and and they might disagree with us but okay bite it's so smooth i i don't there is no bite there is no bite this is now it is 40 percent, so it's only 80 proof but there's no bite and it's smooth oh and already I want to jump into flavor. Yeah. So what he's, you're saying five on the smooth? Oh. Oh, is our camera guy like? Okay. Hey, you got a job <laughs> to do. Stop it. Cody's back there drinking and not. <laughs> he's been waiting all the week, camera's two weeks. The battery's probably been dead for five minutes. And he's... <laughs> Very smooth. Some people might put it at mild. Mm. Oh, it's definitely mild, but moves into the smoothness. Yes. Flavor. Oh, my God. This is good. This is very flavorful. I can feel, or I can taste. I can taste the char. I can taste something. Yeah, you can taste the peat once. You yeah. can't smell the peat, but you can definitely taste it. Taste, taste it. <laughs> taste it. <laughs> Shouldn't have drank all that before we started. <laughs> Very flavorful. Yeah. I would. <laughs> his I would, eyes are rolling back in his head. <laughs> I would definitely. This is one of the. I can't even start rating this because it's a five to me. The cost drops it. Right now it's at 15, 16 with the cost, which would be a four barrel, but I have to use my bonus barrel. I this. think I would pull out the bonus barrel oh, yeah. too, because this is. This is not just a five barrel, this is an OMG. Yeah, and this is. We don't have the And OMG. hard to find. We don't have the OMG. I would doubt seriously that many people have ever had the opportunity to not only drink this, but rate this. Because there's not, it's only available. <laughs> Is he crying because it's gone? <laughs> <laughs> it's only available in Greenland and a couple bars in Europe. It's, it's great. And what I had to go through to get a replacement was just, a lot and what my daughter had to go through to get a replacement in fact I would, we are trying to get her to buy some more <laughs> this is so good i would be afraid to have this because i would just sit there and just drink it yeah how long have we had this i went to italy to get, pick it up in november yeah I think, right around there no it was October or September, wasn't it? It was early fall. So 
that's all I've had in it that much because the cost I don't want to blow through <laughs> this yeah. is a very special occasion in fact we have drank more or poured more today than what I, I would maybe look into getting dual citizenship and ice <laughs> <laughs> rent a rent a, uh, a boat out of Boston and go up to Greenland and pick up a few cases yeah this is by the way, everything's expensive in Greenland because they have to ship stuff in. Yeah. And this isn't made in Greenland, but it's... Well, they really, got to ship the water over there. And yeah. Then, it's it's really... It's readily available in Greenland. And we're going to have to do an episode on the vodka and the cognac. Oh, please, yes. I haven't opened the cognac. <laughs> oh. I just love this, but the I don't... The cameraman needs to steal himself. I don't want to drink anymore because I just want to put it back and play No, it. I've finished mine. So this is our first five barrel. Our first OMG. Our first OMG. First hard to find. Either, the Andalusian was kind of hard to find, but now that they're selling it locally. So this is our first hard to find, first OMG, first five. And I hope that uh, people get an opportunity to try this. But and, don't come over here expecting it. There's a couple guys from Austin I'd love to have over to my house and maybe talk to, and they can uh, have a a thimble. I think it. just one. We can leave the other one. Unless I'm <laughs> I'm I'm gonna see uh, my daughter here in a few weeks, and then again in the fall. So I will definitely bring in a couple bottles home. If I can get it in a few weeks, because we're actually meeting in a different location, I have to do research. But if you want to know uh, more about Arctic uh, Velvet, you need to go online to Arctic Velvet um, website. I don't think it's ArcticVelvet.com. Com. 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 ArcticVelvet.com, but you can uh, get online and check it out and maybe order. If you're in Europe or even uh, Hong Kong or Shanghai is where they're available at a couple bars i would definitely go to the website find out where you can purchase this or try it and check it out if you're traveling through hamburg germany this is available at the bars in the airport <laughs> that's what the website says so you're gonna just make a from england just through hamburg airport yeah that? we're going to england in a few weeks and i was like we're, i think we're going through montreal i was like can we change our tickets but I, since we're going to England, I'm going to try to pick up some bottles. I got these really cool little um, kind of compressed cases. After the fiasco, uh, the first time I bought it, and the t absolute destruction of the bottle, I bought these travel cases Don't you, for like, wine. fill them up with air or something? Or? No, they're like a bubble-wrapped kind of pouch that you put them in. And I went to Italy, and um, I bought nine, nine of them. Went to Italy and they were all full with wines and these. <laughs> the three that I bought. So. Can't you just hold them on the plane in your leg? <laughs> oh. Get away from this. I don't want to end this episode because I just want to keep smelling this. Yeah, and I, don't, I got this a little bit and I don't want to... Save I want to drink later. it, but I don't want it to end. Can I get a Ziploc to save it for later? <laughs> this is really good. Arctic Velvet people, you did a great job. I keep it in that. Um, not sure I'm going to find anything better. I got some back here that might be, but this is by we'll far. We'll try. Amazing. We will try. We will try. Yes. This is definitely a must once in a lifetime try. And I'm afraid that all my friends who are subscribed to this channel are going to like. We'll be pounding on the door <laughs> in 20 minutes. Like, Can this? we try this? Can we try this? No. All right. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check us out on the blog and Twitter. Twitter. Um, I just posted um, a couple things on the blog you might want to check out. And we will see you next time. All right. Cheers. Later. Is my camera guy still sober back there? No. <laughs> he right. can't even get off the floor to turn the camera off. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.